Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. Solve the following system of equations. x squared minus yz is equal to 2, y squared minus xz is equal to 3, and z squared minus xy is equal to 5. I thank Sean and Nick from New Zealand for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Now before I get to the solution, I want to give a little bit of behind the scenes of the process that went into making this video. It all started in April of 2021 when Sean suggested a problem. I made notes of it and I tried to think of how to work it out, but I couldn't come up with a good explanation. Then in November of 2021, Nick sent me the same problem which brought it back to my attention. So I had initially found a solution on Topper, but it didn't actually make any sense to me. Once I got to this step of cross multiplication, I was just lost. I did some more research and saw something on Math Stack Exchange, but again, I wasn't completely satisfied. So recently I posted this on YouTube in the community section, and I got some wonderful replies from people including Venom and Juju Moss. So these are excellent explanations of the problem, but it still didn't completely make sense to me in order to make the video. So finally, in February of 2023, I reworked the problem and I kept on thinking, what's the best way to explain this? So I got a video together and that's why I'm posting it now in April of 2023. So I just want you to know that many times when people send me problems, it's not like I can just solve them instantly and I can make a video. And sometimes, you know, people don't like the videos. They don't like the attention getting titles. They say, mind your decisions. It's not even part of the math community. So I want to thank you for supporting these videos. It helps me get through it. And I hope I can keep presenting interesting problems and explanations to you. So without further ado, now let's get to the solution. Rather than just solving for these three specific equations, we will find a general solution where the equations are equal to the unknown constants of A, B, and C. So how do we work this out? Here's a trick. We're going to eliminate all of the squared terms. So to do that, we multiply the first equation by Y, the second equation by Z, and the third equation by X. So here are the resulting three equations. Now what happens if we add up these three equations? we get a magical cancellation. All of the terms on the left-hand side will cancel out. x squared y will cancel out, y squared z will cancel out, and xz squared will cancel out. So we have zero is equal to c times x plus a times y plus b times z. We can write this equation in vector form where zero is equal to the vector x, y, z dot the vector c, a, b. So let's put this equation to the side, and now we'll do this cancellation in one more way. We'll multiply the first equation by z, the second equation by x, and the third equation by y. Here are the resulting three equations, and once again, if we add up these three equations, all of the terms on the left-hand side will cancel out. So x squared z cancels out, y z squared cancels out, and x y squared cancels out. So we have zero is equal to b times x plus c times y plus a times z. And we can write this equation in vector form. Zero is equal to x y z dot b c a. So now let's focus on just these two equations. Notice from the first equation, we have the vector x y z is orthogonal to the vector c, a, b. From the second equation, we have the vector x, y, z is orthogonal to the vector b, c, a. So we wanna solve for x, y, z. So we need a vector that's mutually orthogonal to c, a, b, and b, c, a. So how can we find such a vector? Well, there's an incredible tool we can use called the cross product. So we will take the cross product of CAB and BCA. Let's calculate that out. 
So from this form, we have the determinant of this matrix. So we will use cofactor expansion. So from I, we will cancel out the row and the column. So we get I times the determinant of this two by two matrix. Then for J, we cancel out the row and the column. Now here we have to have negative. Finally, we do the same thing for K and we have plus K times this two by two determinant. So we calculate each of these determinants very easily and then we can write the result in vector form. So this will be a squared minus bc, comma b squared minus ac, comma c squared minus ab. Now the vector xyz will be some multiple of the cross product of cab and bca. So xyz will be t times what we've just calculated. So let's focus on this. We need to figure out the value of t. So how can we do that? Well, let's go back to our original three equations. Now, if a equals b equals c equals zero, if you substitute that into our formula, you'll see that x, y, and z must be equal to zero. That's the only solution. So suppose instead that not all of them are equal to zero. So in this case, let's just suppose that a is not equal to zero. It'll work out similarly if b is not equal to zero or c is not equal to zero. You just take those particular equations, but we'll just suppose that a is not equal to zero. So now we're going to substitute this form of x, y, z into the first equation so that we can solve for t. So we know that x squared minus y, z is equal to a. So we'll substitute what x is equal to, what y is equal to, and what z is equal to. So you substitute that in. Now we're carefully going to simplify this equation to solve for t. So we're going to first square this term. Then we have t squared in the first term and in the second term, which we can factor out. Now we just carefully need to work out some of this algebra. Some terms will cancel out and we can simplify. From here, we've supposed that a is not equal to zero. So we can divide both sides by a. Now we will solve for t squared. So t squared is equal to one divided by a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus three abc. And then we take the square root of both sides. So t is equal to plus or minus one divided by the square root of a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus three abc. So we pretty much solved the problem now. We figured out what x, y, and z are equal to in terms of a, b, and c. So we'll just write it in one more way. The triple x, y, z is equal to the following triple. So how does this work out? In our original problem, we had a was equal to two, b was equal to three, and c was equal to five. So we simply substitute in those values into our equation, and we get the triple of x, y, and z, and we get two possible solutions. Either x is equal to negative 11 over root 70, y is equal to negative one over root 70, and z is equal to 19 over root 70, or the opposite of these. So x is equal to 11 over root 70, y is equal to one over root 70, and z is equal to negative 19 over root 70. So we have two solution sets, and that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.